Hey creatives, in this video, we're going to create this beautiful app interaction. Select the outboard and choose the color that you liked. I am choosing little bluish door color. Then add your text layer and change it to your app name. Then select the same text. You can change it to search. And change it to medium since it's a small text. Then add one rectangle and make it radius full and choose some dark color like this and send to back. Then add your search icon. Select the icon in the text and group it. Again, you can group with the shape and align properly. Then reduce the opacity to 40. Then align properly. Then add one big rectangle. Radius may be 5, no border, maybe choose same color as a search bar color. Then add some relevant content like duration, audiobook, author name, so on, whatever you liked. and proper alignment then group it then group it then use repeated grid to create few more then go to google search for book cover again I have downloaded few you can choose anything that you liked add those images into grid maybe reduce opacity to 15 since this is a repeated grid so whatever the things we can do here so it will automatically change it to other design as well so we're gonna create this play button so create one circle then add on triangle no border degree to 90 then select both and add subtraction you can add this icon within the repeated grid group so anything we can change it here it will reflect the, all the design seems like a too bright to me so i thought of adding some blur effect you can follow my properties or you can choose that you like Now ungroup it and group it again. If we scroll this card, you could see that our header is getting overlapped. 
to resolving this what we could do here we can add one rectangle same as bg color and send to back then group all of them then bring forward now you could see it's not overlapping then duplicate the artboard arrange all the chord like this little above and bottom and move the text like this below then we can increase this image opacity to full 100 then align wherever you want then select this image and copy paste it and move out from the artboard and choose the color to white like this then add one circle and duplicate one more time and resize it and select both circle and do subtraction then copy this image and now here right click paste with appearance so you could see our image getting into the shape properly then add some shadows then duplicate one more time then align properly and group it then take this into your design simply you can cut and paste it into the group and send to back which is the first group you could see then duplicate the artboard then select the first image you can turn on 3d transform add some negative value like cover opening so you can align to be left then you can increase the height and arrange it wherever you want look like a opening again you can tweak the values Maybe the play button can go little down now because it's overlapping. So basically, we're going to add interactions between this and this, like opening. so go to prototype if you click here we can move this artboard so trigger is tap auto animate easy in out one second again you can experiment with your own values same way like this to this and check the prototype yes guys looks good 
so we're going to add a few more interactions like once we click this one of the disk detail page so simply duplicate this artboard select the first disk and move it above like this more like outside then duplicate one more time here then push that disk down select all of them remaining this disk and reduce opacity to zero since we are created a group initially so whatever the thing we are making it won't mess up so the grouping is more important guys maybe here we can move our logo like this the search bar we can change it to back and we can select the disk we can make it little bigger however we want then we can add few elements like play previous whatever required then align everything properly then we can add that audio uh, script as well then we can add a scroll group then use pen tool to create that audio progress bar again you can duplicate one more time you can reduce the opacity of this and we can resize it then add a prototype disk to this artboard property as same like previous and this to this you can make it for timing so it should happen automatically for adding few more details maybe you could add one rectangle top of this script maybe reduce the opacity then duplicate and put it down also so your middle one will be the visible there is like a queue then duplicate this artboard and rotate the disk maybe little bit 15 degree then you can increase that progress bar the prototype is the same it's a time maybe duration you can give it 5 same as you can push the text little above that's it guys you have created beautiful interaction